Lesson 401, Introduction to Matrices. You decide to go to do a Carmel study on color of shirts versus gender of the student. So how would you organize this data quickly, simply? Well, you say, you know, the boys have uh, three reds and two blues and four greens, and the girls have one red, let's make it uh, one purple, uh, two blues, one green, and uh, eight purples. So the way you can put this data together is in what's called a matrix. Plural of matrix is matrices. So if you have more than one, we'll call it a matrices. Learn how to spell it. There's no I after the C. It's just a E. So again, let's put this together. Blue. Uh, boys, not blue. Girls. And let's say there's red, blue, green, and purple. So in the boys, we have three, two, four, one. The girls, we have one, two, one, eight. Bang, you got a matrix. We're going to do more things with this than you could possibly imagine. The mathematics behind matrices is very high level, and trying to make the two match up is challenging at times, but it's a definitely something that can come in very handy. It's also something that computers were built for, and when you want to put this in a matrix, you put it into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and manipulate it from there. We, of course, will do it by hand. So, Some definitions. What's an element? Uh, one piece of the matrix. So, for example, the number 8 up here is an element. The dimensions. We go row by columns. So again, for example, up here we have a two by four matrix. Two rows, four columns. A row matrix has just one row. A column matrix, of course, has just one column. A square matrix is a 2 by 2, 1 by 1, 3 by 3, etc., etc. It's a matrix that has certain properties that we can work with. So we'll be working with a lot of square matrices, or we'll be working with a 2 by 3, but we chop off the last one, we make it a 2 by 2, and then manipulate the other part in a different way. More on that when we get there. And a the zero matrix has any size, 1 by 2, 12 by 4, anything, but they're all zeros. That's really it. Now we'll just do a problem involving a matrix, just so you can see how they work. This says they're equal. Therefore, y equals 6 minus 2x, and 3x equals 31 plus 4y. So we've translated two matrices that are equal to each other into a system of equations, two of them with two unknowns. So we can solve now.
So we get 5, negative 4. We check it out. 6, I already did this, negative 4. Check it out in this one. 4 times 5 is 20. 31 plus 20 does not work, so I have it in the wrong spot. Uh, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, plus 31 is 15. 3 times 5 is 15. Correct. This is a little foreshadowing. We're going to use matrices to solve systems of equations. That's it. Good luck.